pipe rats aren't good here. Um, and you gotta be wary. Like, Desecration Demon, turn for Desecration Demon for Brandon mm -hmm. is very, very good. Um, it's one of his quickest ways to win. But George should have, like, two to four chain code rocks in the main board, and he has to dodge that if he's a Desecration Demon. Right? Yeah, he's got one in his hand as well. This is a very swingy matchup. Balsesia. Or a Charmian. Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter, George. We're taking that chain to the rocks, probably. <laughs> Why did George not take Cast the Ash Shallows? Because George plays suboptimally sometimes. Oh, no, no, no. He played a, a Temple of Silence turn one. Oh, that's why. See, I, I don't like this. I, I mean, I understand you have to play them, but I just really don't like this. Thing. So there's a Sim Collector. So very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know why George didn't play that Ash on his master. That's with Brandon. One thing that I've noticed with George's play is that he becomes overly concerned with the creatures, and 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 one. One Q, he doesn't do what he did in the. He spent a lot of time against Brett burning out like fire drink. Uh, what was it the Seder? Fire dancer Seder. Yeah, Seder fire dancer. Yeah, which it, which is not. Uh, you're not going to win that game by throwing lightning bolts at. Mm -hmm. at Still the and sometimes go the phoenixes. It short just draws really like. I mean, he's going to bring it down to twelve effectively. No, I don't like that at all. I guess you have no, I don't like that at all. Did he not cast it? Oh, wait. Yeah, because, yeah. No, I may mean, just get immediately punished for... It's I mean, it's the exact same thing you said. I mean, and, and, and Brayden's life total is... is well, George Snow kept two on top. Well high enough at this point. George drawing well off the top of Boris Reckoner. Brandon hasn't played a removal spell yet, and I did see a Blood Baron in his hand. Yeah. Yeah, George, there's no way George wins this game, right? He'd have to draw running Boros Charms. He needs a skull crack in his hand right now. He kept that on top. That's very, uh... He kept, he, he didn't keep the land on top. Yeah, he did. He kept, he described two from his Mango Jet on top. Um, that should be the Blood Baron from, uh, Brandon. And, like I said, George needs to draw skull crack right now. And even then he's drawn so thin. Slow play, and he understood. So if you have the plan to riffle shuffle all along, the power shuffle is technically slow play. Yeah, I don't know where it was in the history of Magic where people convinced themselves that a power shuffle was in some way better than. And I know it's easier on the cards. And if you're playing freaking vintage, fine. Yeah, I'll, I'm not going to complain. Scrawling, scrawling. Did you shove them both? Uh, I shoved that one. I didn't see what he did with this first one. The only card I can see in Brandon's hand is a Hero's Downfall. Shock you. Mm -hmm. I guess you leave the shocks in for the pack rats, but they're not even that good. Yeah, you don't, you don't have anything to bring in for the, for the shocks. And then what do you take out? Take out the skull cracks. Or sorry, no, you take out the border shrooms. You take out the cards that really don't interact with your opponent here. Like you said, the, the shocks can pick up a pack rat and they can kill like a night bell specter with your first striking action. I guess it's a spot in the curve too where you can just run out a one mana creature or one mana spell. Blind obedience? No, pack rat. I think Brand's gonna be thrilled that, that just happened. Was that a pack rat? Yeah. And a mega jet from George? Yeah. You're gay. Every spell that doesn't get targeted at Brandon's head. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a bit odd. Like, I don't think, uh... There's an Ash Zealot. Well, it's kind of making more sense now if, if George is on the Ash Zealot plan. Like, that gets shut down in two turns. 
whereas if we don't think Brandon has any removal, uh, and it's a hand mismatch, actually yep. can do uh, upper to 6 to 8 damage. Yeah, but you can still magma jet him into turn, set up your draws, then kill, the, offer the pack rat trade if you want, and if he doesn't take it, then bolt it afterwards. You just get so much more information, and you don't waste your... Uh, the, the shock or here. There's a bio blight on the uh, yeah. Axzilla. Yeah, I wonder if that's what he was leaving out. We need a Blood Baron here, don't we? George has no answer to Blood Baron, right? He's got to chain two, two burn spells against it. Yeah, you could have Mizzen Mortars. Could. Life Bane Zombie. That's my favorite Reckoner. Well, just double Boros Charm. Double Chain. So bring him effectively at eight. Mm hmm. Bring him literally at eight now. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well if you got two. There's also no point to play that mountain, right? Right. You can at least bluff that you do something live. Right. <sighs> There's a Blood Baron. If he connects once with the Blood Baron, the game's over. Yep. And George can't. He has to draw more. He has to have mortars in his 75. He has to draw it right here. Yeah, George, you can see the George lean over to double check. <laughs> The Blood Baron is pretty fly for a pro white guy. Cannot see what the other card is. It's a burn spell, or else he would have played his land. It looks like a temple, but there's really no reason why he wouldn't. It's not a skull crack. There's a burn on, so we got the clock assembled. Mm -hmm. So we're attacking for eight a turn here, gaining four life. Chain is going to eat or take care of the Vimaz. Which is just as good as a desecration even. Yeah, it's it it is irrelevant what it is. It could be a it could be a hill giant for that matter at this point. <laughs> and that the the Blood Baron is the card that's winning this game. It's already won the game as far as I'm concerned. Yeah it has. Yeah, this is the second if you don't have the skull card for the first hit and then kill the next turn. Whoops. <laughs> Everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a mountain in George's hand. So, uh, we can't even have overloaded Mizzy Mortars as a... Here's a as an out. Here's a White Reckoner. Brandon's deck, though it looks like a mono-black deck, does not play, um, Grey Merchant.